Welcome back to Point One Six, a micro farm. Today I want to share with you my rain catchment system and how beneficial it is. When I first got my rain barrel, there were shipping delays because of the global health crisis, and so I didn't have a base to put it up on. So I had a lot of trouble trying to get the water pressure where I wanted it because there just isn't any when the water is too low. If you want water pressure that matches, say, a faucet or the spigot that's usually on the side of a house, that's way more pounds of pressure than you're going to get from just the weight of water in a barrel at ground level. I have a hose attached to the side with like an over-the-door hanger. What I had to do, because I couldn't fit the watering can underneath the spigot, I had to use the hose and I would get this sweet little method of attaching it to the side and wait for it to fill the watering can extremely slowly on trickle level to be able to use this effectively. I also pulled the hose over toward the greenhouse and just watered very gently. This base is awesome. The barrel and the base are made out of 100% recycled plastic, so it makes it a resin composite barrel and base. Bringing it up a foot in height, it's UV resistant and it's eco-friendly. I also love the little overflow that kind of looks like a nose to me. Once I see it, I can't unsee it. The screen at the top, you have to screw it in and they give you the screws and it acts as a great little screened area to keep debris out. And then going up this plastic gutter extension, it's kind of like a slinky, so you can shape it how you need it to be for where the rain barrel is. A few screws, and it's attached right there. And it holds the hose when I need the hose. Having it flush against the house is super convenient as well because it's large, it's 50 gallons, and it sticks out. With a massive storm, I wanted to really see how this sucker would work to catch water so that I don't have to turn my spigot on that's attached to the house and spend money on water, which comes from the sky. The force of water off of our roof is so much that it moved the extender off to the side. And within about 10 minutes of a heavy rain, the thing was full. So what I did was just grab the gutter extender and pull it down to the old overflow. And there you have it, 50 gallons, free of cost. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Look how fast that filled. Oh, just from that. Ta-da. The amount of time it cut off for me to just fill up this little watering can is unreal. Because of the large amount of square footage that a roof covers, catching all that water in the gutter means that the rain barrel that is 50 gallons is gonna fill within minutes. Free water falls from the sky. I haven't turned the spigot on to my house in months, and I don't plan to. Thanks to rain barrel. And this way, it's less water waste and it's less money. I hope you enjoyed this little rain catchment video and you'll like, share, subscribe, and come back for more.